Hello and welcome everyone, Laha here, and today I've got early access to take a first look at the Yellow Turbans for Total War Three Kingdoms. There are three warlords included in this DLC, He Yi, Gong Du, and Huang Shao. The DLC is free to all those that pre-order the game. And for those that pick up the game in the first week of its release, the 23rd of May until the 30th, will also get the DLC free and included with their purchase of Total War Three Kingdoms. I've got 30 minutes to go through a campaign today, so I'm going to show you guys the first few turns of a Gong Du campaign. The reason why I'm choosing him is because he's all the way over in the west, and most of the previews I've done so far have focused in the east and in the north of the map, so hopefully this will... Uh, be a bit different. Gongdu is master of the land, he has a starting situation of very hard difficulty, character specialization, he's a veteran, excels at holding out against many enemies but susceptible to armor piercing damage. He provides plus 5 military supplies in enemy territory and plus 10% armor for all spear infantry. Faction specialization, have the dominion of Gongdu, increase campaign movement range and increases loot from battles. Playstyle focus on raiding and looting. Unique features include the guerrilla warfare, uh, liberate as a unique stance, and unlock from the start guardians of the land, which are heavy assault infantry. Also, noteworthy characters, we have Shang Kai. So, without further ado, let's dive on in. Embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns. Chaos ignites as the power of the Unix is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. As the old ways, the corrupt ways die. A new flag is raised. Gondu sees the people suffer. The time to rise up is now. So here we are on the campaign map, our first turn. Establish your power. Annex Yellow Turban regions and be wary of Ma Tung and Shang Lu. Our first series of missions being issued as well. Uh, defeat an enemy force and we'll actually get an ancillary, we'll get a pole mace for Gong Du, so it replaces his uh, current one, this one's even stronger, it's got 3k uh, melee damage armor piercing, none for melee damage base, it's all about breaking and smashing through armor, and he'll get some bonus experience as well, and also if we research a reform, ancillary gained the Book of Earth, very nice, so we'll have a quick look at reforms because they're laid out uh, fairly differently uh, for the Yellow Turban Warlords, and you can actually only unlock sort of uh, higher tier research or reforms rather by going through and progressing up uh, through the ranks that you have uh, as Yellow Turban Warlord. So it works similarly to how the rank system works for. The other warlords we've seen so far, but they're called Devoted, Balanced, Healed, Empowered, Ascended, and Enlightened. And then right at the top you have the Yellow Sky Mandate with the victory condition for the Yellow Turbans to unite China by bringing all Emperor seats under your control and by owning 95 counties. Also, rather than it being prestige that increases your rank uh, through these various titles, you need Enlightenment, which you get um, from doing all these various reforms you can see plus 10 enlightenment uh, given from most of them in fact some of them just purely give you enlightenment and obviously unlock some units as well so uh, yeah these this first tier of reforms here on the far left are the ones we have access to right now at our current rank and you can see the little bit of red text on the right hand side there it requires uh, faction rank to be balanced before we can go for moral laws and all these other ones and that increases as you go through uh, we do start off with Pardon Old Re old Regime Supporters already given to us. Uh, I'm going to go for the Proactive Planning, which gives us plus 10% Campaign Map Movement Range and plus 10 Enlightenment. Let's get that going there. And then we're going to dive straight on in to this first battle against Yang Fen. And uh, Mace is facing. Let's take a look at Gong Du in action. 
We've got three horse archers, two uh, units of yellow turban horsemen, two units of yellow turban spearmen, and one unit, I believe they're halberds and they're guardians of, of the land, I believe. Yes, they are. So we've got um, guerrilla deployment or vanguard deployment for them. So we can pop them all up here, although those archers there, let's not get involved in that just yet. Let's sit back there. Have Bong uh, Du out in front. We'll take a look at him in a minute. And Kai, we'll have you with our cavalry, and we'll have you advance through the trees on the right. And then horse archers will have you guys over here. They've got flaming shot available to them as well. But there is Gong Du with his massive mace. So much damage. Right, let's start the battle. Oh, we've got a jewel request straight away. Let's go on in. We are up against a sentinel, and there are um, it's different. Uh, classes for heroes for the yellow turbans. So Gongdu is a veteran, which obviously by the uh, color scheme there means he's a mix of blue and green. Um, in how that works for obviously units and what have you, and I imagine his skill tree. It'll be interesting to see if in future DLC for Three Kingdoms, if they add in other hero types that are hybrids of two different sort of classes as such. But as a veteran, he does, um, well, he actually excels at taking on loads of enemies. But he's susceptible to armor piercing damage. So he should be good getting stuck in against lower tier troops. They don't have that much armor. But he can also dish out a fair bit. And in fact, his desperate cry will give him a rather nice boost to his damage output. Oh, he's just swinging that maze. I mean, GG to this dude blocking them, but I would not want to be up against that. Oh, right to the face. I mean, Gongju is taking a lot of damage in this duel. Sentinel is doing what he's meant to do. And just hold up other heroes. There's a kick. We'll finish him with a nice smash to the face with the mace. Oh, it's a throw. Finisher? Finisher? Come on. Smack him one. Gong do him. Oh, yeah, that's that's going to that's going to crack a few ribs. Now, they're going to take a massive morale hit. I should have brought up my cavalry while we were waiting for that duel to go on. But yeah, they're going to be... They're wavering because their general has just died. I imagine it's not going to take long. For us to break these guys. That cavalry charge should... He hopes. Finish him off, or maybe some flaming arrows. Oh, right into the axe band. They've broken now. Archers are also pulling back. But I'm going to tell the horse archers just keep charging on through. Yeah. Flaming shot finishes them. Oh, I'm thundering through. Beautiful. We will claim our victory. Cracking the ribs again. Very nice. So, very little uh, replenishment there. But, um, yeah, let's just grab it anyway. 
The yellow turbans as well tend to have, I think, in their reforms further up quite a few um, bits of tech which will increase their replenishment rate. So eventually they will um, get quite a nice boon to their replenishment rate so they can recover much quicker than other warlords, it would seem. So mission issued, maintain a total of one of the following new types, yellow turban, spearman, captain. Oh yes, of course, we can get captains as well as the yellow turbans. Not recruit till next turn. Um, we can annex um, yellow turban rebellion settlement. So let's move in here and annex it and take it. We have to declare war on them. We just grab it and we can integrate it. Lovely. So next mission is to upgrade the town. So yeah, let's get that in there. We'll build something in here next. We've got our copper mine that we start with back here in uh, Wudu. Well, we gained an iron sickle as well, but we've got uh, that new pole mace. Very nice. Oh, and we've got a war glaive as well. So let's um, get that equipped. Let's just turn off the map pins for now. So he starts off with a two-handed mace, which is 2k melee damage armor piercing. And this one is 3k. Chuck that right in there. And, ooh. It's Courses of the States. Yeah, let's give him that one. Followers, what have we gained? Wedge, own army. Let's give it to this chappy here because you've actually got cavalry in it, although it works for the whole army anyway. Um, you are, yeah, let's give you that, make you happier as well. And in fact, you've got a military G. Let's give you the war glaive. And you go, Slayer of Tyrants. They're all in there. Who else is upset? Who he? Okay. Um, yeah, accessories. I've given them all out. I'm sorry. Uh, how about Jewel Jans, though? It's our court like. No, I can't do anything there. So we, mm, I could always release you from service if you're getting a bit too upset. We'll keep an eye on you. But let's uh, jump through our first turn. So there's yellow turbans. Oh! Matung is moving on in. Oh, and he's sieging us straight away. Probably going to need to sally out against him. Yeah, Matung literally starts here in his campaign start. Oh, we've got the water clock. Oh, replenishment. Lovely. So actually, is that, does that replenishment work for the armies in? I'm hoping, because I want to give that to you. And then give you this one. Increase your satisfaction a little bit. Right, well, we're going to have to break this, because otherwise we're going to start taking attrition. So let's sally on out. Our forces are evenly matched. Our advisors predict a Pyrrhic victory. Here we go. Okay. Still got the same amount of troops you weren't able to recruit. You can't recruit in your first turn uh, as any of the warlords. Um, you don't have any seasonal deployment available. Okay. Vanguard, Sentinel, and Champion. So we want to avoid the Champion. If we can use our characters to smash on down Matung, that would be great. Uh, they've got archers over that side. So I want my cavalry through here to go deal with them. I think they've got cavalry too, though. Hmm. The axe unit. Ooh, axe band's taken a bit of a, a beating. There. Hmm, they'll probably still come. I don't know if they'll come to me or not, but let's... Right, like that. Oh, we do have reinforcements as well, don't we? Every little helps. So 
to wait for them to come on in. I guess this is our garrison that's from Wudu. I've got some archers. Better than nothing. Just use the infantry to just try and pin a little bit. Oh, and the captain as well. So they are, they're heading towards us, that's fine. I need their cavalry to head over this way. So they don't see my cavalry hidden over here, which can then swing on around and go after all these archers, but they've got spears defending them at the moment. Let's see if we can get a duel in. Doesn't want to duel, doesn't want to duel, and out of range. Okay, so by the looks of things, we need to send spears over to help my horse archers. That's it. Draw them this way. If we can get the cavalry round here, we can surprise those archers before they do too much damage. Oh, we can take him on. Have I fully healed? I've not fully healed. They've seen the cavalry. Managed to get them straight in there, though. Power up everyone's attack as they smash on in. That's it. Oh my god, that cavalry took apart the spears. Not good, not good, not good. Let's focus on taking out those archers if we can. Bongdu versus Matung. Take on their sentinel, come on. Oh, their cavalry swinging in there. Did a number on us. Let's go off those archers. Spears are back. Don't be up against that champion too long. Incredibly close duel over here. I need a good hit with the Binding Fury. Yeah, that'll do it. No, decline that, we'll get wrecked. Genkai has emerged victorious. Huzzah! Back into the fight. This early on to be jumped on by another warlord is... Uh, pretty tough. So, uh, if you're planning on playing as... Uh, Gongdu, let me know in the comments section. Or if you are planning on playing as any of the yellow turbans, let me know which yellow turban you plan on playing as. And why? Pull the cavalry away. Oh, there you go. Matung has been 
routed. Force archers bring you round at your skirmish mode. You guys flank on round. He's back. Oh, that did a lot of damage to him. And the good old mace bashing to the face. But he's got us in behind them. Enemy general falls. Huzzah! He's down. That does mean though that yet yeah, he's gone berserk. Decline, because he will have a lot of buffs right now. Yeah, plus 40% melee damage base, plus 40% melee damage armor piercing, and plus 12% melee evasion. He's unbreakable as well. Because fallen friend, Ma Tung. Oh, that's a way to smash through some spears. That's them all gone. Is just that. No, that cavalry's gone as well. Just their champion, who's still unbreakable. Boost everyone's attack. Let's get Gongdu out of there because he's taken a fair bit of damage. Oh, he's trying to escape. Get on him. Yep, he's down as well. Victory! A Pyrrhic victory as foretold by our advisors. Oh yeah, their cavalry got loads of kills. 154 and 173. Falls. Uh, so yeah, we've killed him. So his faction should change somebody else now. Um, we get a lot of money, although we've got plenty already. I'm gonna just take all the replenishment. That seems to be my go-to in Three Kingdoms, kind of getting used to the much lower replenishment compared to other Total War games. I'm always going after it. So we've now got a rivalry with uh, Matung, but pretty sure. Oh, he might be... Maybe he's wounded. Maybe he's just convalescing. For a few turns. Killed in battle. Oh, yeah. He's gone. And you have leveled up, sir. You've got a point available. Um, camera move range, own army. So that should be fine. Plus two enlightenment. So, yeah. There's a lot of enlightenment to gain. It looks like the main way is through your reforms, but also through agent um, and hero abilities too. Effortless flow. Yeah, get that for the Slayer of Tyrants. And we can now recruit. We need to recruit a captain for our mission. So captains are enlisted officers who lead loosely organized bands of local levies. Unlike generals, they are unable to, to improve, recruit more prestigious units or lead armies. So if you need someone in a pinch... Um, yeah, but uh, probably if you are short on characters, well, I imagine these guys get a, perhaps a smaller pool of characters available, so you probably will need some captains. So we need a spearman captain. Get him in there for our mission. I'll probably pop next turn. When it triggers. Yeah, we've now got those guys coming straight on in. They're not like mercenaries, so they don't come in fully um, replenished straight away. They will need to still muster. Um, we actually have enough money that we could get some troops in here. In fact, I'd like to get some more of these guys. Guardians of the land. Two more of them straight in here. Um, you're blue and green, but you've got some cavalry yellow. I think that's enough cavalry, though. Some dedicated archers wouldn't be bad. We can get yellow turban archers, or if we saved up our income for a little bit, we could get men of the forest. But I can get two of those archers straight in right now. So we'll go for them for now. Cheap and cheerful. And then we will end our turn again.
Oh, it looks like, looks like uh, Matung came back. So maybe he was just because he was wounded? I don't know. Maybe he has been killed. I guess we'll find out shortly. Ran Shu is declared war on the Turban Rebellion. We completed the mission for getting the Spearman Captain. Mission issued Yellow Turbans grow ever stronger, blotting out the Han. Uh, recruit and maintain a total of 20 units start of a new turn. 20, so we'll get that next turn. Ancillary matched Yarn for uh, Gongdu. Okay, nice. So yeah, let's just have a little looky. Uh, thank you, so he's still there, so we must have just wounded him then. In that duel. Because as a character, he has a resilient, so he's, yeah, he's probably injured for a few turns. We'll need to just chill for a few turns, but we'll just um, blast through a few. But what I should probably do is show you guys uh, slightly more closely our diplomacy situation at the start of the campaign as well, because you start off at war with Dongzhou, uh, Matong, uh, Han Su, Han Empire, and Chaolu who is down here. So that's another early expansion option. You can go and annex this settlement of Wudu. The reason why I've gone for it... Oh, he's left the Alliance of Matung. Okay. And yeah, we completed that one for having 20 units. Good, good. But yeah, I went straight for Wudu because we you start off with the Copper Mine, so I wanted to try and complete that uh, commandery province. So I probably would look to move on the Silk Trader. Um, but you can go down here. Again, Shang Lu. Um, take the large town, but to complete that command, you'll need to go after the Silk Trader, which belongs to Dong Zhou at the start of the campaign. So it might be wiser to sort of solidify control of the northwest first and then look to swing east a little bit. Uh, in terms of diplomacy, here, um, we're all with these guys. Or in quick deal, that's why I was like, why can't we do anything here? We can only declare war. Be at war with this faction. We just current faction ranks too low. Oh, okay. So yeah, the as a devoted, your ranks too low to start with. So you probably get that when you start increasing through balance uh, up to balance, I guess. Uh, enlightenment by researching reforms, constructing special buildings, increasing character skills, and granting character positions. Once sufficient enlightenment is attained, the next faction rank is unlocked. A high faction rank provides better bonuses and gives access to new reforms. Yeah, I I wouldn't be I, I assume you can do diplomacy with other factions, otherwise it's really tough. And obviously diplomacy is one of the kind of big uh improvements that Three Kingdoms has over previous Total War games. So I guess I'll but to start with no one wants to touch you. Because you're rebels. Right. Let's um just bl I'll just blast through a few turns on my own until we're ready to move on the Silk Trader so we can complete the conquest of this commandery before we wrap up this video uh, for today. So after a couple of turns of mustering and replenishing, I was able to march on Matung. You can see we've got a big old clash, uh, over 8,000 troops in total. Unfortunately, I am running out of time on this video, so I'll just show you a few clips from the battle, a couple of cinematic shots, and uh, we'll see how we do. And Gong Du is victorious. Unfortunately, that's all I've got time for to show you guys today. So I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors: Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Until the next one, Cao Cao for now.